Pixel users, go ahead and update your camera. Camera app got an update today. Now, Google is rolling out the new Pixel camera app update version 9.4 with new features and optimizations for a select number of Pixels and or models, including the Pixel 6 Pro, Pixel 7 Pro, Pixel Fold, and Pixel 8 series. Um, it said, while the update is part of the Pixel feature drop, it looks like the latest camera improvements are rolling out to users now. Um, it brings Pro Lens selection features and improved HDR Plus experience. Um, the latest update adds the ability to manually select lenses in older models. So you can manually select lenses in the 8 series, Pixel 8, Pixel 8 Pro. However, in the older models like the Pixel 6 series and Pixel 7 series, you are not, and Pixel Fold, you are not able to to manually select which lens you wanted to use when uh, taking a shot, right? Um, so with this update, you can now choose from three lens settings and options, including ultra wide, wide, and telephoto. Very good to bring that to older devices. Um, when you select the pro mode, three new lens options. Ultra wide, wide, and telephoto appear in the zoom pill above the camera shutter. All right. Um, all you got to do is pinch, pinch to zoom in and out, and you're good to go. So, this also improves, as I mentioned, HDR plus frame selection. It means your Pixel phone can recognize the best moments in a photo with HDR plus. So, you can capture more photos with smiles and eyes open. Cheese. Um. Uh, ooh, here's a big deal that uh, Samsung users love and OnePlus users love. The latest update also includes changes to the RAW and JPEG picker, finder, selection, selection, <laughs> selector. Uh, additionally, you will notice some changes related to RAW images and JPEG photo settings. For instance, the RAW and JPEG picker is moved to the Pro tab. Thank God did not belong in the regular tab for people to play with. Um, it's usually found in your settings more, but this makes it much easier to switch between them if you want to edit your photos later. And not forget, there is no resolution setting as found on the Pixel 8 Pro. No resolution, meaning, um, well, you get it. Uh, Pixel 8 Pro, far superior camera setup camera application um it's slowly rolling out so if you don't you know what hang on 9.4 let me see if i can find this file for you it's slowly rolling out so if you don't see it in your google play store google camera i think i can find the file for you hang on and i'll post it Let's see. Is this it? What are we on? Pixel camera version 9.4.103. 9.4.103. And then it's 64, 377, 609. Yep. All right. I got it right here. For those of y'all that don't want to wait, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, let me do this. Copy. Watch. I'll show you right now. I'll add it right this second. I'm going to download, I'm going to add the uh, version 9.4 camera app to this right quick. So you, everybody can download it. Simply click download, install, and you're good to go. So let's do download 
pixel camera version 9.4 now let's put a link on it And copy, paste, excuse me. Ooh, they added a lot here. Damn. So let me update my application. So what I did is I added the app. the I added a download link to that article, right? So we're going to do this. So go to that article. I went on the back end and added it. So let's, so see there's nothing on here on the bottom. Now watch, let me refresh the page. Is it not on there yet? It may take a minute to update it. Let's see. What the hell is this? Yeah, I added it on there, so it, give it a few minutes. I'm going to show you what I did on the back end here of my website. And then just check it every so often, every few minutes. Give it a check real quick. I'll show you. And by the way, I've been using for tomorrow... Hang on, I'm, I'm uh, updating the application here for everybody. On the fly, as we speak. Let's underline this. Let's add the link and we're good. Okay. Um... Let's publish this. Let's update this. Ah, here we go. All right. Ooh, I need to... Yo, really? What's going on here? I apologize, guys. Give me one second. I'm on the Android news section. The links are gray. They need to be blue. Android settings. Where's link colors? Articles. Text links link colors. Here we go. Let's have a nice light blue. How about that? 
We're good. Do, 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 do. Icons selected. All right, we're good. So let me save this. Let me show you what I got here. So let me share the screen. Apologize about that, but I wanted I can do this on the fly. So uh, let me share screen. Let me open up the new article. Okay, so here you go. So when you select that article, I do have a lot of Pixel users uh, that subscribe to the channel. Here, you can download at the blue link now. Simply select this and it'll take you to the download page. Simply download it and install it on your device. There's That's the APK. Uh, I've scanned, virus scanned it, it is clean. And you get all of these improvements here. Big, big camera improvement here for your Pixel. So, download, install, and enjoy. So, no longer do you have to wait for the update to hit your your uh, your Google Play Store, uh, App Store. You can go ahead and update that and apply it ASAP. As we as you watch this, you can do it. Go to eSimStudios.app. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. What's going on, Daniel? Oh, Daniel, you remind me. <clears throat> uh, tomorrow. I'm going to have a camera comparison screen, uh, not screenshot, uh, sensors, photos. Um, my OnePlus 12, I'll say it right here right now, takes better photos than my S24 Ultra. I was shocked, absolutely shocked last night. I was reviewing some, I, had, I was going to make a camera comparison video between the S24 Ultra and the OnePlus 12. And I was going through some photos last night, and I could not believe it. Um, and I'm not, and look, it's not even that close. I mean, it's a night and day difference, in my opinion. Like, I was going through my settings in my S24 Ultra, like, what the hell? Did I butt dial or push something on accident where I jacked up the camera, like, the quality of the photos? I'm going to go through the settings again because I was taking some photos today. I was like, my God. The OnePlus 12 just leapfrogged the S24 Ultra in my book. Uh, and I'm going to show you the experiences tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to put out, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to um, make a pre-recorded video and upload it. But then on the live stream tomorrow, we'll review some of those photos and I'll show you what I was looking at. But uh, you're not going to believe it. It's absolutely incredible what this OnePlus 12 can do with the Hasselblad uh, sensors and cameras back there. Wow, it's extraordinary. Um, and I'm going to actually go, I can't believe it. It takes that good photos. I'm actually going to go use my Pixel here to maybe include some Pixel photos. Not a Pixel comparison, but I'm going to throw a couple photos in just to give it a try, just to give it a comparison. But the main video is going to be the S24 Ultra versus OnePlus 12 camera sensors. Now, I'm going to transfer the files through wire, so it's not going to be any uploading through the cloud, downloading from the cloud into the uh, video. No, I'm going to transfer everything through the wire, everything uh, point and shoot. I'm not doctoring anything. Uh, trying to make it as fair as possible, but I was going to show you what I was looking at and see if y'all can tell the difference like I can. So tomorrow we'll have OnePlus 12 versus S24 Ultra camera comparison. So I'm going to get out of here. I do appreciate the time. Please have a safe and enjoyable Saturday afternoon slash evening, wherever you're located at. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to live stream earlier. I can't be doing this at 6 o'clock my time. Uh, it's too late for me. So instead of skipping it today, I was like, eh, let me just bite the bullet. Do Go ahead and do a live stream. But I'm, on, I'm going to try and do it earlier. I'm going to shoot for an earlier stream from now on. So, um, just be aware and I'll send, um, updates through the eSim studios app dot app, 
uh, website. I can send notifications when we go live. I can put the link out there. Just open up that link that I send you through that notification, and it should open up to the live. So uh, appreciate the time. As always, I will see you tomorrow. Much anticipated a video and live stream tomorrow, so don't miss it. You're not going to want to miss it. It's it's truly incredible. Uh, OnePlus is officially back. I know I've said that before, but and now I give it my stamp, my seal of approval, uh, and I'll show you what I've been what I've been looking at over these last couple of days. So uh, truly incredible. You're not going to want to miss it. So as always, see you tomorrow. Peace out. Take care. Be safe.